Hello everybody, welcome back. Brent here from GBMC Game. This episode 36 of our Technic Let's Play. And I've just been just been admiring these goats battle it out. I heard them fighting in there earlier. I had no idea what the sound was, but I know what it is now. So, I'm loving these boots. They're amazing. Uh, I just love the feature that you can actually just like climb up blocks without jumping. It's great. Alright, and I feel like you fall slower too. But that's just probably me. I can jump almost to my roof. That's awesome. So, in this episode, we are going to be finishing up that, uh, the, uh, the, 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 the room, the storage room, that's it. And, uh, to do so, we're going to need lots and lots of iron chests. So we're going to smelt up this iron here. That'll give us 16 iron chests. Plus we need the, uh, the, the, the man, I cannot think of words right now. It's horrible. We need the wood so we can make make the chests. I'm glad it wasn't uh, thunder and lightning. <laughs> that would have sucked. Kind of burn my house down, you know. So we need 16 chests total, so it's not too hard to get. All you do is just... Uh... What in the world? A chair! I'll have to test what that is here in a minute. I want to see it. What was it? Like this? Huh. I've never seen this before. Let's place it. Oh, you can't. Can't place it? Why can't I place it? Eh. Maybe it has to be on a wall. Maybe it has to be on like... I don't get it. No? Okay. Well, we'll figure that out later. <laughs> I'll have to figure out what that thing does. Or if it has any significant value whatsoever. Um, so, how's this iron doing? It's finished. Of course it is. Uh, and we have the chests, so let's go ahead and turn all of them into iron chests. Now, this should be more than enough for now, but we will obviously need more in the future. There we go, 16 iron chests. Let's go put these downstairs in the storage room. It won't be long to get there either, because we have these amazing boots. I'm not going to get over these boots, they're amazing. But you do take fall damage still when you use them, so if you jump off a cliff, you're still going to take fall damage. So I will keep my... Uh, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale on my inventory, or on my hotbar, sorry, just to uh, prevent any unnecessary damage. How convenient. <laughs> 16 long exactly. I swear I didn't even count that out. Perfect. Okay, so that is more than enough chests for now. We're going to have one for pretty much everything, including dirt, cobblestone, sand, swords, uh, rubies, emeralds. Sapphires. I might actually just make one chest for gems and say one chest for wood and planks and etc. Stuff like that, like uh, categorize them like this one, like gems, ingots, ores, dirt, cobblestone, stuff like that. Uh, we'll figure it out later though. For now, we need to make signs as well as a bunch of red power items. So what we're going to need is a transposer. Uh, that will be the item that we're going to toss all the items into. And it is right, right here, right, right. Okay. I'll type in more. There it is. Transposer. And to make it, you need a piston, which we're going to make a lot of today. Um, a red, one redstone, five cobblestone, two planks. Not too bad. So let's go ahead and just make a piston and then teach our transmutation table about it. That way we don't have to continuously make them over and over again. And I think that's a fair, fair thing to do. And there we go. Piston. Transmutation table, 130 or 348, not too bad. Let's see, uh, let's get a couple of them. Uh, one, let's get 16. Plus that one, eh, we need two transposers, so we might as well just get two. There we go. Yeah, we're gonna need two transposers just because that room is uh, un, or it's an even number of blocks wide, and we're gonna have. Uh, I want to keep it symmetrical. You'll see what I mean later, but. Uh, so we need a piston. One redstone, what was it? Uh, two planks and cobblestone? Yes, okay, cool. So two uh, cobblestone here, 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 and here. Uh, planks there. Ah, oh, crap, I forgot the redstone. Always forgetting one thing, aren't I? Always, always, always. I'm pretty darn sure I didn't make anything uh, with this stuff in the last world. I don't think I did. If I did, oh well. Oops. There we go. Two transposers. Perfect. So,
So, let's go place these. I'll show you guys where I'm going to put them. And we should also start at least... Oh, past it. At least start digging out the room for the... Uh, for the sorting machine and whatnot. We're going to need uh, solar panels to... Not, like, industrial craft solar panels. I mean the red power solar panels. Just so we can actually power these transposers and stuff. I don't think the transposers actually need power. But um, I could be wrong about that. There we go. There. Okay, so the transposers are going to go right there. And we can just toss our items on top of them. And, uh, yeah, it'll work out pretty cool. We might build stairs around them or something. We might add something there. But, we're going to have to fly. Oh, <laughs> I can just run right up these things without even doing anything. It's awesome. So, I'm lagging. Why am I lagging? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Two frames per second. Don't crash on me, please. Um, what in the name of heck is going on here? Okay, then. Hold on a second, guys. I'm going to... Oh, wait. Yeah, hold on. I'm going to wait for this to stop. Okay, so I had a... Wow, it's going to start whenever... Oh, that's better. Okay. So, it just stopped right away when I stopped recording, and then I started again, and almost started again, but it seems to fix it. it seemed to have fixed itself now, so we're fine. Um, Okie dokie. So, we have the transposers. Now what we need is those solar panels. So, let's type in solar, and we can see them. It's the first one there, the really tiny ones. They're not too hard to make. As you can see, we need a blue alloy ingot and blue, some blue doped wafer. So, right off the bat, we're going to have to go get some uh, clay. So, let's go find some clay. I'm sure we can find some of it, since there's a swamp just over in this direction. Not too hard to find. Especially with these awesome boots. Oh, lag spikes again. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Yeah, you would have took it. I would have taken damage there, but... Uh, oh. Yeah, but I have my Swift Wolf. Uh, Swift Wolf's Rending Gale. I'm going to fly up here and see how she's doing. Looks like it is spreading, but it's not going completely crazy so it's not that big of a deal plus the vis will actually now i think it's actually called aura the positive energy is actually i think it is called aura and vis is just a name for both energies so i'm not entirely sure either way the aura as i'm going to start calling it hopefully um will actually get rid of that taint so if the ah, lag really why is it lagging again it's strange nothing on <laughs> I don't have anything going on on my computer right now. It's really weird. Okay. And it seems to be okay now. Cool. Oh, maybe not. Come on now. Don't do this to me. Alright. It just said high disk usage by Fraps. So, I think I know what the reason is for this. And that's because I'm uh, using a lot of uh, hard drive space. So I'm going to have to start editing some of my videos because Fraps just takes so much memory on the computer. So I might go edit a couple videos, come back, and then uh, record a bit more. So I'll be back shortly. I'm probably going to forget what I was doing and saying, so forgive me. I, I already forgot, actually. Right, I was getting clay. So I'll come back and get some clay after I'm done record or editing. So I'll see you then. Alright everybody, so my video's finished saving and I've done, I'm done editing for now. I do have some space left on my hard drive, at least a little bit now, so I can do a bit more recording. And I know I left off trying to get some, uh, some uh, um, clay, but I did actually get it and it's uh, actually back at my base. But I'm going to make a little bit of a sidetrack here and do some things with uh, Thomcraft yet again. So, the first thing that I'm going to make is a new item in the Thomic Confuser. You don't have to research it, so it's really good. Uh, what you actually need to make is a compass. I'm actually going to make two compasses. There we go. And uh, I think that's it. That's all the things I have to make. Alright, so what we're going to do is put one compass in here, as well as one piece of gold, and one piece, or one vis crystal. And that'll suck all the vis out of there. And give us eventually, oh, maybe not. Okay, looks like I have to toss some more stuff in here, because that's pure taint. Uh, let's just get rid of that taint then. Oh, I can't. Okay. <laughs> I'm out of space, and I don't want to break that. So, well, actually, I think I should make another one of those tanks. So, let's go back to the house and do that. And uh, jump around with my awesome, amazing boots. With the help of the Swift Wolf's Rending Gale, of course. 
And I've been uh, harvesting the sugar canes as much as possible lately just so I can get some bookshelves to help with that research thing. That'll just boost our chances of getting some things. And I do have some things to show you with the research side of things, so I will uh, get to that in a moment. But what did I come over here for again? Right, something to get me some beasts and also to get that uh, crystal or the taint out of there. Um, plain paints, there we go. I need enchanted wood, do I not? No, it's just wooden planks, isn't it? Okay, let's grab some wooden planks. And what goes in the middle? Redstone? Is it redstone? I might as well look it up. Give it a look. Tank. Beast storage tank. Nothing in the middle. Oh, and it's enchanted wood that I need. Okie dokie then. So I have some enchanted wood here, but not enough, so let's go get some more. Uh, let's get some of our great wood logs. There it is. Ditch you and get you. Okay. And I have some beast crystals, but I need those for a recipe that I'm going to be using, or going to be making here in a minute. So let's get some more of these crystals. Um, earthen, since we have a ton of them. Uh, five of them, I guess. That'll do. I have a mouse problem outside, apparently. That's alright. Alright, so here we are. And what am I doing? Damn it, my memory is horrible right now. Right. Making the enchanted wood. Uh, let's just toss this on back ah, crap. Okay, I just lost the beast that was there. Oh well, um, so I need enchanted wood, and I need beast to do that. Okay. So there we go, let's just toss some iron in here. And get that stuff back. Really? Oh. Okay, I don't want to do this, but I have to release some taint into the world. Ah, see that? particle effect, that means you're releasing taint into the world, and I don't like doing that at all. Oh well, what do you do? So let's get some more of this going. There we go. A little bit more, really? Really? Come on now. Come on. Go in there. There we go. There we go. Okay, there's our enchanted wood that we need. And now what we're going to do is right here, we will go ahead and make our Vs storage tank. There we go. Just ditch that for now. And we're going to place her right there next to the other one. And we're going to share it uh, between the two of them, I guess. There we go. So now we have a uh, another storage tank. And this cauldron, or the... Crucible is completely empty now. Perfect. So what we have to do now is, again, get rid of this. Yes, yes, I know. don't want you, wire. Go away. I need Vs. So let's go ahead and get some after we place the items back in here. I might as well just place both of these in here. And um, what is it? Earthen crystal? No, a Vs crystal. That's it. Let's make a Vs crystal. Put it in there and uh, toss some iron in here as well and break this just so I can actually get all of the V's out of here taint will remain in there, that's okay oh goodness, this is taking a lot of iron but we have plenty of it so it's no big deal you know what? Just there. <laughs> if that doesn't do it, then I guess we'll have to go get some more items And it did! Awesome! So we just got the Vs Detector. And what this item does when it's in your hotbar, as you can see down the bottom right there, right there, it uh, shows you the amount of Vs that is in the chunk you are currently in, or the area, anyways. So let's go around here and check and see how much Vs is actually around. Ooh, there's a lot around here. It's probably because of this tree, though, which makes sense. Oh, see a little, little thing lit up, indicating that there is a large amount of Vs in the area. And that means that there's obviously a lot over here as well, since this tree is here. So we picked a, picked a pretty good spot for this. But the thing is, how would you know where there is taint? And that's pretty much the reason why we have the other compass and the other piece of gold. And uh, what we're going to make now is a vis, or sorry, a taint detector. So it's going to take the, uh, it's going to be the same thing pretty much as the taint detector, or vis detector, but it detects taint taint, so I need items to uh, 
to, you know, get this going. So, uh, let's toss this in here. There we go. That's plenty. Alright. More than enough. More than we need, actually. <laughs> there we go. There's the taint detector, and it'll go right there down on the bottom, right next to the, uh, the, uh, um, um, the other one, the Vis detector. So, as you can see, there's a very low amount of taint, but there is still taint. So, if we go over in this direction, see how much taint is over here. It's kind of hard to see the exact number, or exact, lo exact level when it's dark like this. There's actually a lot of taint around here, so we're going to have to find a way to extract that from the world and uh, just store it in tanks or something. Maybe. And there are ways of doing that, of course. I think. I hope. <laughs> but for now, let's go ahead and grab some more of these um, items here. Place that there. That'll extract all that taint out of there. Because we don't want it there. And what I want to do now is get some more of these things. So we need regular wood um, as well as some um, redstone and glass panes yet again. So it's not too hard. Don't need enchanted wood for these uh, crucible, not crucibles, the conduits. So let's grab some glass panes, perfect amount here. Uh, we have wood here. There we go. And some redstone. That should be enough. I think I got this recipe right. I'm hoping. There we go. Vis conduits. Perfect. And we still have that tank there that's pretty much full of vis and uh, taint. Lots and lots of vis in this area, which is great. So, you can actually extract the vis from the world, but if you do that, it's not good, because then your world isn't really as uh, magical as it once was. So, I advise against doing that sometimes. There we go. Fill that tank up with a little bit of vis. What am I doing? Might as well just leave that there. Eh, screw it. And now what we're going to make is actually another item. And what we have to do is, I think we have to actually use a uh, crafting square. Um, we can try it. So let's put both of these things in here, as well as all these crystals, and see if we can make it. No? Okay. So it is in the, uh, the, the thomic infuser. So let's put an aqueous crystal, an earthen crystal, a fiery crystal, a vaporous crystal, the vis detector, and the, uh, the taint detector. And I want to know what this item does. And if it isn't really what I'm looking for, then I guess we'll make those two other items back again. So we did lose the other items, but we got a thomometer. And what this thomometer does is detects both of them. And it only takes up one spot on your hotbar. So I don't have to make those other two items. Uh, that's what I assumed it did. And I'm pretty sure that's all it does. I'm pretty sure. I might be wrong about that. I'll look it up later and figure out what exactly it can do, if that's not all it can do. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I want to do with the Thomic Infuser. But I also came over here and noticed that we have another discovery finish. The Quicksilver Core is finished, so let's go ahead and look at this thing. So, this upgrade increases the speed of the device or Thomic creations it is attached to. Okay, and we need a Quicksilver. How do you make Quicksilver? I don't know. Vaporous Crystal uh, quicks, uh, makes a Quicksilver Core along with a, sl a Stone Slab and 50 Beasts. Don't really know what this does of devices or thomic creations it is attached to. So I'm assuming if we put it in this slot here it will uh, increase the speed. That's pretty cool. That's not bad to have around if you ask me. Um, cool, so that's our third discovery. We haven't made the arcane focus yet because we don't have the item that it actually goes into. So also you might have noticed that we have three more fragments of lost knowledge. I just put some cobblestone in there earlier and uh, yeah, I got that. So let's actually take that out for a minute and put uh, these things in here. See what see what we get for that. Thirty one, not worth it. Hopefully we get at least one discovery, please and thank you. Come on, come on, last chance, please. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Oh well. So let's put some more cobblestone in here. Why not? There we go. And let that run. So that's all we want to do for uh, Thomcraft for now. If we have anything else we can, or that we want to do with it, we can come back and do so. Also, I wanted to show you guys something. I also came over here just to check out how big this oil vein was down in the ground, and I found a ravine. But there's also another little surprise down here. So let's go down. And I just came down here, realized that there is a ravine. Hopefully, you guys can see decently fine. 
and uh, there's some crystals. But if you go over here into this cave, ta-da! A dungeon. Why did that thing disappear? Am I? I'm unpeaceful. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. Forgot to change it back when we went to our single-player world. Anyways, so we got a darkened eye, uh, crystal eye for uncommon forbidden artifact. Okay, we got two of them. Uh, we got another one of those ancient weapons. Ow, 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 I forgot we were in a dungeon. Ah, go away. Torches? No torches, really? Okay, make this quick then. And, oh, look at that, some rails. That's cool. Or tracks, I should say. Uh, got some thomium ingots. That's pretty cool. Uh, we'll come back for this stuff here in a minute, but uh, nothing too, too special. More darkened crystalline eyes or crystal eyes. More fourth boot discs. No idea. But we can use that to uh, make a nice little farm for our EMC production, I guess you could say. Since it's nice and close and right on top of where we had put an oil rig. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so that's enough for Thomcraft. And I think that's all I have to update you guys on. Also, actually, I did do one more thing down here. I did dig it out a bit more. Holy smokes, there's a ton of creepers down here. Why the hell are there so many creepers? What the hell? There's seven creepers in this one room. Okay, then. Anyways, yeah, I dug this out down here just so we can actually uh, have some room to work with the red power stuff. But we are going to need some red power or blue 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 tricity. So we can work on that now. That's the reason I needed those... Uh, the, the coal, the, 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 what's that stuff called? Clay, that's it. So let's go ahead and find that clay. I forget where I put it. I did uh, teach my transmutation table about it, so. Um, I think I put it down in the storage room, actually. I think I did. Great. So I have a battle on my hands. whoop de doo It's really weird. I found so many creepers down there. They just knew I was building something, so they're right there. They just want to blow it up. Down we go. Hmm. Alright. Nee. Not gonna work. Ow. Not cool. Um, we don't even have a sword. <laughs> oh, okay. That works. Kill the creeper! Keep on killing the creepers. That's four. That's five. Jesus, man. Shoot the guy already. Ow. I'm gonna die if I get hit again. Oof. Go on, kill him. Damn it. I just want a record. Yay! I got a record. Okay. Um, let's actually eat. Let's go get some food. I'll leave that record there for now. Won't despawn that quick. Hopefully you guys can't hear that dude pressure washing his house outside. <laughs> yes, one of my neighbors is pressure, pressure washing his, or pressure washing his house. Okay then. Um, food. Right, that's what I need. Do I have any food around? There are melons outside. Do No, that was close. Okay. Grab some of these. Not too many, as long as we can fill our hunger bear. There we go, that's good enough. Let's chow down on these. Regain some health and hopefully be able to kill that skeleton. And maybe even the creepers as well. Kind of annoying. I just want that record and get out of there. Because it's worth a good amount of EMC. I think it's worth like 2,000 or something. Let's uh, go down and grab this. <laughs> Suckers. I got the music. To oh, goodness. Wow. Smelting value is worth 100. That's great. <laughs> That's okay. I will not complain about that. So let's get over here. Um, See, so yeah, there's way too many creepers and stuff down here. Way too many. Way, way too many creepers. For my liking, anyways. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so there's a good amount of gunpowder there. And now what we have to do is get some pneumatic tubing. And I want to do most of this on screen, but I also want to do it off screen at the same time. But 
Oh, well, we'll do it on screen for now, since we haven't showed you guys what, uh, or hi, I haven't showed you what, uh, what to do with, oh, hello, what to do with redstone, or red power, sorry. So, let's, uh, go get some pneumatic tubing going. We do actually need that alloy furnace, and what the heck am I doing? I need the, co uh, the clay. Goodness. Good thing we can run fast, right? <laughs> should probably like this place up, too. It's probably a good idea. We can put it in gems for some reason. There we go. Mm, yeah, okay. So that's where our our clay went. Alright, and I think that's all I have to update you guys on. I didn't do any mining or anything off screen. I didn't do anything like that. I don't think I did anything. Anything too special. But I did collect the, the sugar canes, like I said. But that's it. Um... Right, so let's cook this stuff up. There we go. Get that going. That way we can make an alloy furnace. Nothing new for you guys, though. Um, I remember making them in the last world. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Let's make some bricks. There we go. Just enough. Wait a minute. Let's actually teach our transmutation table about these. There we go. There we go. Alloy furnace. Just what we need. Let's put it right there for now. Um, so what we're going to make is a couple pneumatic tubes, but to do that we need brass. So let's get some, uh, get the recipe up for brass. I forget that what it is. There it is. Brass ingots. So you have to, uh, so it's copper and tin, just like that in the uh, alloy furnace. That's not too bad. Just like bronze. So... Uh, do we have any copper tin, copper and tin bars? Very little amounts. So let's go ahead and uh, cook some up, I suppose. There we go. Let's macerate some tin. Uh, let's get ten of it, I suppose. There we go. Okay. Or more. I can't shift click. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. Double what we wanted, but that is okay. The more pneumatic tubes, the better, because we won't have to make any more of them. And we're also going to need flax seeds. That way we can actually make paint. And to make paint, we need to uh, need to make flax seeds and get a bunch of dyes. So we're going to have to hunt down a bunch of different colors. That'll be fun. Sarcasm, of course, but that's okay. Um, I'm actually going to teach my transmutation table about the music disc. Cool. And uh, might as well toss this bone in here. And take the EMC out of that. There we go. Alright, so that's all we have to do with that. Um, Alright, I might want to go check the time in the video. I don't think it's very far into it, though. I'm hoping not, because I'm having fun. Um, let's organize the inventory there. We have our copper. Oh, right. What am I doing? We have to go to the alloy furnace, of course, to get the brass. And uh, pneumatic tubes aren't too hard to make. You guys, I don't know if you guys seen me make them yet or not. You might have, you might not have. There we go. And... Hmm. Let's just use coal. Charcoal, actually. Do we already have charcoal? No, it's coal. Okay, good. And there we go. Cool. It's more than enough. So, that'll cook up that. I don't really like the texture on that thing. Looks kind of weird. But, either way, there's four brass ingots, and we need six, I think? Let's just get the next four. There you go. Okay. Oops, I missed. I think this is how you make them. No? Oh, right. What am I talking about? You need uh, um, glass. I don't have any glass, do I? I have a bit. That's okay. It's good enough. More than we need, anyways. There we go. That's how you make pneumatic tubes. Um, probably going to want more than that, though. Let's get these out of here. Man, our inventory is a mess. I really need this sorting system finished. Big time. 
what am I looking for here? Let's get rid of this stuff. As well as the reeds. Don't need them right now. There. I'm just trying to see what was outside there, but couldn't see it. Who cares? Um, two more. That's okay. It's better than none. So let's get some more uh, glass going here. So let's macerate some of this into sand. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but you can macerate cobblestone into sand. Pretty cool. Let's grab the rest of this and then cook it into glass. So those setups that I had the macerator macerating the ores and then putting them into a furnace, this will actually work for cobblestone and turn it into glass, which is pretty cool. Fun fact for you. There we go. Lots of pneumatic tubes, more than we'll need. Uh, Alright, so next up we need to make a blue alloy ingot. Um, and to do that we need some nickelite. And some silver, I believe. Let's just toss her in there. There we go. And put that in the alloy furnace, I believe it is. Why is it not working anyways? Oh, because it didn't have enough copper. Cool. And then that. That will make us the blue alloy ingot. And then we need blue doped wafer. I think. Unless we're going to go with thermopiles, which is another way of generating electricity. How do you make thermopiles, anyways? Thermo. There it is. Thermopile. Thermopile is two dope, red dope, or blue doped wafers, two iron ingots, and four copper ingots, as well as a blue alloy ingot. I think I'm going to go with that. So to make this blue doped wafer, we need to get a silicone wafer, and to make a silicone wafer, we need one silicon bool, as well as a diamond handsaw. So let's get that diamond handsaw going now, might as well. Um, there we go. Got some iron, as well as two diamonds. I don't know why I just don't macerate all of the items that I have that I need to macerate. Partly because I'll probably run out of energy before it uh, before it finished. And there we go, diamond handsaw. Now we need that silicon bool thing. And to make that, we need to cook in in an alloy furnace, coal and sand. That's not too hard. Let's go ahead and get some sand here. Let's get eight of it. Since you get 16 uh, silicone wafers for one bool, I think we don't. I don't think we need anything. Uh, anything more than that. Let's just get that out of there. There we go. And uh, let's put that in there. And let's use charcoal. There we go. All right. So we'll wait for that to cook up, and then we'll cut it up into 16 wafers, and then we can use a uh, nick light in this furnace to make. Uh, red doped wafers, or blue doped wafers, sorry. And there we go. I think you need a diamond handsaw. I don't know. Either way, it's good to have one. Um, let's get some of that nickelite. We just need four. Do we? No, we need eight. Oops. There we go. Put you there, and you there. Well, I think we need two uh, blue doped wafers. I think so. Yep. Okay. And we need four copper. So let's get one more going. There we go. Gotta love shift clicking. And then two iron, I think. <sighs> so much macerating and cooking. So hopefully, uh, we're good for time on the video, but you never know nowadays. Um, Alright, that's everything. So, let's grab our blue alloy ingot, our blue doped wafers, our copper, and our iron, and that'll give us the thermopile. What this thing does is basically uses temperatures to generate blue tricity, and I'll explain more on that in a little bit, but uh, it's just a really good way of generating energy when you're underground and don't have any other way of getting energy. So, I might make more than more than one of these things, but uh, it depends on how efficient it is, I guess. So, what we have to make now is... What the heck do we have to make now? 
I think we have to make some blue alloy wiring. Okay. Um, blue alloy wire. There it is. So we need three blue alloy ingots and six wool of any kind. Great. Alright, so three of that, so we need twelve of this. And three of you. There we go. Okay, let's toss that in the alloy furnace while we go try and find some wool. I might do it in the morning though. There we go, there it is. There. So yeah, let's sleep through the night here. Your armor is uncomfortable. Okay. Oh, what in the hell? Oh, it's damaged. I didn't know it got damaged. That's unfortunate. I didn't know I could sleep without uh, having taken off those boots. Strange. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Alright. So... I guess you have to take off your armor before you sleep with the Somnium mod. It's pretty cool. It's a realistic and good idea. Any string do we have? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's make some wool. There we go. Uh, Klein star. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's good enough. There we go. That'll give us at least a little bit of blue alloy wiring. Not too much, we'll have to make a bunch more of it, but just thought I'd show you guys how to make it if I haven't already. I'll probably make more of it off screen. So if you see me having a stack of it later on, you'll know why. So I believe that's all we need. I think we need some lava and some water, so we need a bucket or two. I'd say two buckets is good. Don't even need to go to the uh, crafting square or anything. You can make buckets out of tin, if you didn't know that. Don't need a stick. Alright, let's go get some lava. Luckily I have a feeling I know where to get some. I have my boots on, okay, good. Let's eat as well. <sighs> I see the fishies running around in the water, or swimming around I should say. Tick tock, there we go. Alright, so let's go find some lava. I'm sure we can find some in this cave or something. Um, where do we see lava? No, I, I know I found some down in the mine shaft, so let's go there. It's uh, nice and quick to travel around the world with this, uh, with this pair of boots here. But they do break. Oh yeah, okay. Let's make sure I had that on. That would have sucked if I didn't. So it's this way. There it is. One bucket of lava will do us just fine, I believe. There we go. And also, we need a bucket of water, of course. Up we go. I'm also going to change this out for a bucket of emptiness. <laughs> and after I get this water, I'm going to go ahead and check the time in the video, because I have a feeling we're rounding the end of it, because we had a long episode last time, and I'm hoping not to do, do that again. Because uh, it takes a while to render those videos out when they're really long. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to go check the time of the video, so give me one second. 38 minutes and 51 seconds. Too long, so thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Next time we will go ahead and make this thermal pile, get, uh, get it running at least, and also make some battery boxes to hold the energy that we will be using, uh, or that we'll make out of this thermal pile. So again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Oh goodness, brainy zombie. Alright, 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 thank you. Thank you for your brain. Why are there so many enemies in here? I should light this place up, I really should. So, anyways, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.